If you're always asking why, you end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes it's better to let go. Give me some space. Glory to Al Akmar! Oh, okay. wow. His design is so cool. He looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, the clothes and the hair, I love it. Right? Sethos didn't just get power and wisdom from his desert heritage. He's also talented in archery. Sethos has always loved hiking, and he has a great sense of direction. Whether he's exploring the desert or the rainforest, he knows the roads like the back of his hand. And he always knows where to find the best regional specialties. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably know where this is going, but I'll say it anyway. When Sethos is in your team, he'll reveal the location of Sumero regional specialties on the minimap. Nice. Cool. Wait, so I'm curious. He's lived in a remote desert for his entire life, and he carries the weight of such an ancient legacy. To me, it seems like someone with that kind of upbringing would either be, like, really introverted or just super arrogant, but Sethos doesn't seem like that at all. Oh. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Sethos is a very open-minded and cheerful person. As the successor to the mysterious Temple of Silence, he had more educational opportunities than other people who live in Sumeru's desert. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and places. He has a very open mind, and he tries to be optimistic. In fact, his personality is a huge help in getting along with other people. So wait, that sounds like... Are you saying he's a social butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> he's a pretty busy guy, and he lives a pretty varied lifestyle. <laughs> and he's around the same age as the General Mahamatra Sino. He occasionally visits the academia, he's always trying to make friends in Sumeru City, and he enjoys browsing goods at the Grand Bazaar. But we've already talked a lot about his hobbies. Let's move on to what he can do in combat. Yes. Sethos's aim shot has a special variant when charged to level 2. He can't move when his attack is charged to its second level, but it allows him to fire a powerful shadow-piercing shot that can pierce enemies, dealing electro damage to targets in its path. Ooh. Sethos's talent, Black Kite's Enigma, can decrease the charging time of his aim shot by consuming elemental energy. Some elemental energy will also be consumed after releasing the shot. Huh. Nice. Ooh, useful. Yeah, and also I noticed his aim shots take a really long time to charge. So I think that means players need to store up elemental energy to fire the shadow-piercing shot faster, right? Hey, wait a minute, I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aimed shots. What? Yeah, you're right on. Hey. That's why Sethos has an elemental skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Useful. It's an ancient ritual that deals AoE electro damage, and it also restores elemental energy whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, electrocharged, superconduct, electro swirl, quicken, aggravate, or hyperbloom reaction. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> but travelers also have another option for firing powerful shots. By unleashing his elemental burst, Sethos will perform an ancient ritual that was passed down from King Deshret's era. He will enter the Twilight Meditation State, converting his normal attacks to enemy-piercing dusk bolts that deal increased damage based on his elemental mastery. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. That sounds like a mini version of the shadow-piercing shot, only it doesn't take as much time to fire. Useful. <laughs> Okay, also, it seems like the records of King Deshret have a lot of powerful abilities, so, uh, between you and me, does that mean Sethos has mastered other mysterious rituals and techniques? Of course! Yo. I'm sure that the Temple of Silence has a whole archive of secrets. One of his other talents will also increase the damage dealt by a shadow-piercing shot for a period of time based on his elemental mastery. Okay, all right. Sounds like the Temple of Silence is a real impressive legacy. No kidding. So many ancient rituals. Sethos is definitely a talented fighter who can make full use of his martial heritage. He's similar to Kalorand in that sense. Yeah. Oh, wow. 